let us discuss about the buffer action in terms of addition of hydrochloric acid. Upon the addition of hydrochloric acid, the decrease of H plus ions is contracted by association with the excess of acetate ions to form unionized CH3COOH. Thus, the added H plus ions are neutralized and the pH of the buffer solution remains unchanged. So, this CH3COOH gives acetate ion and H plus ions. Here you can finally find the mechanism of buffer action of a basic buffer. We have ammonium hydroxide over here. So this gets the addition of H so it becomes H2O. And we will be having an H3 plus ammonium ion. It's ammonia. Similarly in the same way if you see this ammonium chloride yields Cl minus and ammonium hydroxide with the addition of NH4+. However, owing to the increased concentration of CH3COOH, the equilibrium from this one shifts slightly to the right to increase H plus ions. So this explains the marginal increase of pH of the buffer solution on addition of hydrochloric acid. So when sodium hydroxide is added to the buffer solution, the additional OH- ions combine with CH3COOH to give CH3CO- and H2O. This is the thing. The pH of the buffer solution is maintained almost constant. The buffer NH4OH or else NH4Cl can also be explained on the same lines as of an acid buffer upon addition of hydrochloric acid. So the H plus ions combine with NH4OH to form NH4 plus H2O in which pH is retained. So this is about addition of NaOH. Similarly, when ammonium hydroxide is added, the OH ions, this one, combine with NH4 plus ions present in the buffer solution to give NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide. Hence, pH is maintained over here. 